it imports into Inkscape. With this thing, I don't want these body parts. So I'll just delete them. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. There's this drool that I don't really want right now. There's these red eye effect and it looks like it's all one object. I don't want the fire behind him right now. So I'll delete the fire. Okay, looks good. You think? I don't think so. Why do I say that? Well, if you go into the XML view, view and edit XML tree, you will see a whole bunch of junk that is not relevant to this file. So let's look at this for instance. Look at this. There's four gradients in there. And if I look at the image, there is only one gradient on his mouth. If we select all, and I mean all, we look at the bottom, it says 15 objects. So I can see his body appears to be two parts. I can see that here. So if I click on this, I can tell that that's one part. And it looks like the upper body is another. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Actually, there should be 13 parts. So I'm going to take his body, I mean his upper body and his lower body, and I select both of them together with the shift click and path union. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Undo union. Um, I will create, it doesn't seem to save the color, so I will select the eyedropper here, click on this, now click on these two with the shift click, pass union. Now get the color dropper there. I don't need this square anymore. Um, so now if we do control A it says 14 objects. Why are there 14 objects when there's really supposed to be 13? Well, let's go look for that other object. So we'll select his pants and there should be only one object. Path of 17 nodes. We'll select his mid-body below the mouth and that should be one object. But look at this. There's this object here that the original designer put here but has no use whatsoever. This happens frequently in SVG files that are made by just the general public. And then I'll just click delete. Now I'll do control A. Look at it at the bottom it says 13 objects. So that should be good. I'm going to save this as a regular SVG. So Inkscape SVG adds a whole bunch of crap to it. Plain SVG. And there are a whole bunch of options on Plain SVG that you can set. I'm going to call this bile02.svg. So I'm going to edit this with the um, editor. And if I look at it, all those gradients are still there. I wonder if there are any transforms in here. One thing that I used to notice about Inkscape in the past is that it transformed everything. So gradient transform is probably all is all right. See this scale here, I don't like it. So maybe when you save it as a plain SVG, it, it gets rid of the translate stuff. So now what you want to do is look for SVG OMG. And you want to upload that sucker. 
what this thing does, I want to prettyify it so that I can look at it later. What this thing does is it shrinks down your SVG and gets rid of all the crap. I want three decimal places, which is fine. So, as you can see, it removes a whole bunch of this junk. I don't know what this means, so I'm turning it off. I don't think you need XML, NS. Oh. Well, let's leave it in. I'm going to remove raster images. I don't think there's any in this. So that's good. So it does it like on the fly. You don't have to press say do it. Now you can just click download. And when you save it, it'll try to save it as the exact same name, so you have to be careful. So I'll change so I'll change the name to Bile03 and save it. Let's have a look at this. Now if we edit this with mouse pad you can see it's, it's terribly small and not only that it got rid of all of the uh, useless gradients you can look at the defs here and there's one gradient left which is the gradient for his mouth when I did a pretty print it uh, puts it all out like this if I don't do a pretty print it tries to cram everything into one line so as you can see this is XML notation so you could easily like do that and it would still work if you look at this fill opacity that I see here really messed up there's fill opacity of 995 fill opacity of 995 ridiculous Let's look for the word fill opacity. Look how small this thing is. It's ridiculously small. Like 20, 20 lines of code. So all of the fill opacities are unnecessary. So let's look for fill opacity and get rid of them. I mean, just get rid of them. I think the original artist was experimenting and he changed the opacity a few times it seems I'm guessing just guessing and you know when you slide it back up maybe he didn't slide it to the end So I'm going to save this as Bile04. And then I'm going to compare them. There's a tool called Meld which you can compare text files. You can also do a diff, but I can't read that crap. I think I think I forgot a fill opacity. So in meld if you are want if you want to edit one of the files you can do it. So it's like a double editor. So I have just click delete because it looks like I forgot one and if I do control S it should save that so the differences between these lines are it's very hard to see in meld is that this is removed a space and the word fill opacity and the um, so here it's actually clearer that's good that looks good I think it looks good. If the file manager can view it, it's probably okay. You can look at um, 
these SVGs in RISFRATO. The image viewer. If the image viewer can read it, pretty much anything can read it. One thing that's cool about the image viewer, this RISFRATO product in Linux, is that you can do a really nice compare. So the, the way I'm talking about is that this says BIL03. So if I hit the right arrow, it goes to BIL04 because it goes and looks at the next image file in your directory. So this way, if you have like a full-size image on your screen, you can compare them visually to see if the previous one looks the same as the old one. Of course, that's not good enough. If, if Inkscape doesn't like this file, then it's pointless. So I'm going to do an open of BIL04. So this is BIL04. There are a few cleanups that I want to do. One is that an SVG often has node points that you don't even know about. So I'm going to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 on the pants. So if I do a select here, it should tell me 16. I think that's what I said. Okay, that's fine. 16, so it's good. Now let's look here. It looks like his belly is extending down, and I can tell this by clicking on View Display Mode Outline. See, his belly is extending down. So you do View Display Mode Normal. So this is all, this, these nodes are part of his skin there, his body. Let's count to. Remember, I started at the pants. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 42. So if I click on the select thing, it says 42. I'm actually surprised. Hmm. I didn't expect that. Let's look at the hair now. I click on this and count the nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. eight nodes, good. Look at the mouth, it says 12 nodes. I can see the gradient there, so if I move this over here it won't make a difference. I just don't want to confuse it with a node. So I'll start at the bottom corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So check that out. 12 nodes, good. The eyes, the middle eye is an ellipse, also ellipse. The white sparkle in the eye, ellipse, ellipse. Now I know that all the paths have the correct amount of nodes. What I want to do now is get rid of the evil strokes. Strokes are evil. I don't know if I change this, but I'm going to save it anyway. So I'm going to edit this to see which items have a stroke on this. One of them, two of them, mouth, somewhere else there's a stroke. Might be his hair, so I check. No, nope. mouth, you can see stroke, right? Let's look at the body, no stroke. Pants, no stroke. Hmm, doesn't leave too many things. Eyebrow.
pass 821, pass 823. Okay, see, this is a stroke, 821. This is a stroke, pass 823. So this is this is path eight mouth is eight two one. So if we go to eight two three, it's his teeth. Oh yeah, I see it now. <laughs> so the next step is to get rid of the strokes.